Well, welcome to TD Place in our nation's capital with Atletico Ottawa taking on the visitors. Halifax Wanderers, two teams in desperate need for a win to keep pace with the top half of the table. Well, here's our starting 11 tonight. Malcolm Shaw up top, Sean Melvin still in goal, Nathan Ingham back in training this week after injury, so maybe a few weeks, so Melvin an opportunity to hang on to that number, number one spot for a while. So zero changes to the lineup from last week's 1-1 draw versus Pacific. As mentioned off the top, the only surprise, Aiden Daniels not able to work his way into the starting 11 after coming off the bench and scoring the equalizer late. He was dominant in that performance, best player on the pitch last 20 minutes. Ottawa just pushing the ball around amongst the defenders. And finally, Babu to the Santos inside the 18-yard box with his left foot. And Yannick Fillion was needed, and he comes up big. Bassett waiting for reinforcements. Swung in, short, but flicked, and it's dangerous. And Timoteo nearly off the goal line, but he was needed. Manny Aparicio line on the ground. He saved a goal by line on the ground. So I'm sold on this tactic now. I hate to be the guy when you come to the changing room and you see that that's your role. Tissot on his left foot. Well over the bar. Approaching the break. Both teams trying to find their way. Rampersad. I think if his first touch is better, he's got a chance on goal. Fernandez. Swung in, it's dangerous, and over top. And finally, Halifax with a real chance. It was Tomas Geraldo. Yeah, it's a great late run from him. Nice double from Ottawa. And that run from midfield from Gallardo, and he tries to maybe do a little bit too much with it. But with a couple injuries, Bassett stumbles. Teasing ball. And off the goal line. Almost. DeSantos beside himself. He couldn't tap it in. <laughs> it came in a really tricky height. Can we see Halifax here? They've got five players behind the ball. Back four and Caligari. It'll be tough to break Ottawa down in one. Ball bounces favorably for Timoteo. Swung in right through the goal crease. No one on the other end of it. You can see the tempo from Halifax at the start. They look up for it. Fernandez. He's got his defender twisted. And oh, wow, and a back heel from Geraldo. I mean, it would have been a world, a world if he got that. Wonder if they go short here, a little 3v2. And he thought about it. And is he onside? Rampersad wide open inside the six yard box, and he can't put it in. An opportunity miss. What a set piece this is. Look at all this disguise here. Maybe slightly offside. It's a great first touch, but. Oh, Bassett. From distance. And it's just by the left post. Ruby wins that challenge. on the break and again Sean Melvin needed Espejo with a clever ball for Hoven. and he's got an opportunity wide open in the box and Jan Fillion and then Ollie Bassett just duffed that one that's what Bassett's giving him the shout saying I was wide open one more but I think you know if you're Verhoeven after that touch you're in you deserve an opportunity to have a go yourself Silky, how he got across the defender, so good. Does well there. And here's Shaw, one on one. Malcolm Shaw on his left foot. And what a save! Oh, he bats it with the breakthrough in the 71st minute. Finally, Atletico Ottawa up 1 0 in search of their first home victory this season.
Atletico Ottawa leads courtesy of Ali Bassett. And here comes Ottawa again. Verhoeven tapped in, and it's too short. It is. Is he onside? He checked. And finally, no call from the official. Ottawa leads 2 0. It's Malcolm Shaw. They've been treated to a couple nice moments tonight. There's been some grit to the performance as well. See how much it means to the players now. Top body language. And the final whistle has come. And finally, Atletico Ottawa with three points and a home victory.